Hello, welcome back to Slice and Dice. Today we're doing more classic hard, you know, we gotta keep working on it. Didn't play any of this yesterday. I played Bortra. My run's actually still going on Bortra. I'm on fight 83. It's uh, pretty grim. I did an infinite that took me 45 minutes to get through six floors, which was pretty fun. Uh, it was more like 12, I guess. But anyway, let's uh, go. Shall we? I'm going to keep clicking on magical until I lose one on camera so I can point to a magical and go see this is what I'm talking about. That's the plan. Uh, this one actually doesn't look too bad. House cat, a little bit grim. Is, mana that got buffed up to plus three. I think it's kind of gross. Let me check if I got any big ones. Nah. Uh, tunnel vision is gross as well. I think you need to pick your characters in this party comp. So... I think I lean a little bit towards the armor. Although mana that isn't so bad. But no, I'm going to go armor because we have house cat and we'll be out of the early game faster. That's going to be my thought here. We'll be through the part of the game where we are at risk of dying a lot quicker because of house cat who will, of course, be there, and he'll do fine. I may as well, actually, here, very minor optimization, since I'm not hitting the wolf anyway, I may as well use the burst to kill the bee and save 2 HP on initiate. But yeah, Housecat will give us tier 3s uh, one step sooner. So, I... Because I think the hard part of armor is the early game when your units suck. And the easy part is in the late game when you're fighting shit like bosses and everything is nice and easy. This is a no. Rogue is good. Poison goes through armor. I think Enchanter is not great here also. I just generally don't like Enchanter a ton as a first pick. Enchanter is definitely more of a, well, I have to click this. Gotta take something. But I will say, I would have preferred this run to be... Like, this party comp might not play armor very well. And I am aware of that going into it. Because you'd want to just defend yourself on turn one, and there's no defending yourself with magical. But this is part of knowing what curses to play with what team comps, basically. And I might be wrong. It's hard to say, which is why we just go do. What are you doing? You're hitting rogue. That doesn't seem right. Why would I do that? Let me start fresh here. We can go, but it's, it's like burst, burst. I don't love it. I don't love anything here. I want to make use of the poison, but I can't. So it's just burst, burst, and then burst. I suppose. That's fine. No way to pick this archer off, sadly. But that's all right. Uh, I can roll for the growth, I guess. Ah, look at this initiate. A little bit unlikely. Ah, and also not good enough. We just keep going incrementally here. Because eventually... I mean, eventually they're not going to roll this damage set, is what I was going to say, but what the fuck do I know? Eventually I will just have enough damage to end the fight, but that archer really wanted to initiate dead. Archer doesn't have eliminate, by the way. That was just strange. This is scary. Give me the random. Replace curse sides with- wait, cur replace curse blank sides with three mana death. Oh, that's pretty cool. Uh, it doesn't do anything here because I didn't take a curse blank, but that's a cool item. This fight can kill me, for sure. Uh, the trouble here is that Rogue has Cantrip, and I really, really need Rogue to roll poison. That wasn't good, but my house cat stepped up, and we'll take that. But magic-based parties plus armor curse into a double thorn fight can kill you. The really killer one, though, is a seed fight. If there's a seed fight there, I think I actually just die with a little bit of bad RNG where the seeds roll, like, two or three spawning in. You can just get toasted, but we're all good. 
Uh, it's vampire for sure. One of the other things that I think knocked Faye down a little bit, it is these different party comps. Because why would I want to play Faye in a comp with double red and the whole point is that you play around blue, right? For example. And the answer is I would just never want to play Faye in this comp. So it feels like it's partially that for why we don't like Faye anymore. Down to lock growth here. It's probably Initiate's best side to lock. I was looking for bandage. I don't have bandage anymore. Of course. And Rogue stacks poison, which is the main reason I've had this like change of heart on Rogue is because of poison stacking. I think poison is just very good. I'm gonna turn the music down a touch. There you go. That's it. Final answer. Necromancer's Tome. I mean, this monster is not too scary because we have Rogue to just pop it. And Necromancer's Tome is very good. I'm gonna pass, but it's close. I like twin daggers. That goes on the cat. Let's get it, dude. And we'll see. I don't even know if I want something like Zap for this run. Not really sure what I want here. I guess I'll leave it up to the game. Oh, you're the wrong guy. Oh. That's too bad. First burst kill, and then the cat dies. Although there is value in keeping it alive. Probably should have let the rogue roll. Uh, you know what? I'll just first burst like this. Because if you survive turn one, you're stronger from then on because you're through the armor. Although I should hit the bottom goblin there. There's no reason to hit the top goblin. I just wasted two damage is all. I'm going to keep locking Initiate's Growth and just give you the chance. I think Initiate is dead here. I got bad news about everyone's favorite character, Initiate. Haha. <laughs> Goodbye. That's a lot of damage. I think there's no saving. Four plus three. And that's alright. No. Seer is pretty good, because you can just sit there and foretell on turn one. But Disciple is exceptional here. The revive and the heal. The heal lets us recover. The revive is a recovery. Like, it's just a fix all the problems angle. But, man, I like Seer a lot. I'm going to go Seer. It's close. But he's a bunch of front-loaded defense, or he's, he's front-loaded with his three mana. And we can either foretell if we're safe, or we can just chill and uh, block if we need to. A shame about my rogue. That doesn't matter. The pseudo's giga low rolled here, by the way. One, two, three. I don't mind if I do. But, rogue, no cantrips, what a shame. Got to just lock in some healing here and chill. <laughs> yeah, I should have locked. I guess you can roll down for the, uh, the dodge, but it's whatever. Oh yeah, thank you. But no, we just chill. It, there's no reason to send it fast or anything when you have foretell. If you can take an easy pass and you're not playing against like a snake, there's no reason not to. Is my feeling anyway. And I'm not playing against a sneak here. Scalpel. Oh yeah. That's a vampire item. I could see Forsaken in this run to give me another way to undo death. Because that's mostly what we're looking at here is I'm getting killed on turn one and there's nothing I can do about it. Turn two and beyond I need to recover. That's most of what this run looks like to me. Now in this case I didn't go for the foretell because I can just go for the kill. Vampire, things have changed. I must say. Uh, you're fine, rogue. Because we'll cantrip into the slimer and then you'll be okay. Okay, well, never mind. 
you're still okay. But I do feel compelled. I guess I could just hit this button. Infuse on vampire. This is heal one to all allies cruel, by the way. So it's heal two to all allies below 50%. And that's pretty good here. Now he is just punching my cat. I think I'll kill him for it. Ooh, Druid Herbalist. I will play Herbalist. Again, you know, been having a lot of success with these parties, and these multi-red parties, all I'm saying. Sure, sure seems very common that I click on Herbalist in these runs. And then I go, wow, Herbalist, huh? That seems pretty good here. I should lock the one mana so I have a guaranteed foretell, but I don't even think I'm going to foretell here anyway. We can go like Vine Bite 2, 3. I'd like to save my cat though. I bet I can if I just go all in on him, because I'm not really losing anything here. Yeah, it's good to keep the cat alive because then we have another source of cantrips on the sarcophagus to take this HP off. I'm gonna roll for it. Nice. Little poison. No, no, no. I'm gonna roll for it. Okay. It's just good to roll for the cantrips. I'd like to kill this guy and get the item, but I think it's a tough ask, to be honest. I have to sack the cat to have a chance, and I'm willing to do it. Because with the foretell locked in, I should now have it. And I do. So, all in all, worth. It's not worth it to try to keep the cat alive. There's no real reason for it. Oh no, he's at 1 HP. Oh, a huge hit. What a great win. Oh, and Fairy Pact. Nice. <laughs> I bet you can guess who's getting that thing. Now it's like he didn't even lose any else. Oh, what do you know? Uh, it's three on everyone, actually. Who feels most likely to die? It's probably it's two on Seer. I actually think two HP on Seer is worth more than three on Herbalist to me, though. Is that right? Nah, it isn't. Now, armor with double graves means I will probably not be killing a grave here, barring some good luck. Uh, and that's okay. I don't really mind too much. I roll down all the way. Good dodge, buddy. Could just save the cat. Instead of foretelling. It's probably worthwhile. We're basically just taking a passive turn versus Fanatic and Double Grave. Which is fine. Because, we're, I mean, the passive turn against the Graves is bad, but the passive turn versus the Fanatic is good. Because he's dying. And we're just letting the armor pass. Uh huh. I'm going to let you guys roll to zero. Okay. Fine by me. And then. Are you dying to Joey Bones over there? Who are you dying to? Fanatic. So I can go like. Burst. Vine. What, I, what the fuck? I want to call this ability Slash. That is not the name of Vine. I don't think that's the name of anything in this game. Come to think of it. This fanatic actually lives three turns, by the way. He's been fighting it out. This man's on a mission. You gotta give him credit. And there we go. I was able to save the one HP house kit. First pick, Dr. Gath. It's a tough call. I think that... The tough part of this is if I want to hit random. Vampire is super nice with the scalpel. I should definitely just play Doctor, but I, it's like, ugh. Sometimes I will click that button and just end the game, but not very often. Not very often. Ooh, look at this house cat. He's going crazy with it. Ooh, look at this seer. He's going fired. Burst, 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 burst. I guess I could just four burst this. The pseudo's high rolled. Carrier's dying to poison. There's nothing wrong with that. It's not like I spent anything for this, so. It takes off 
I'm effectively bypassing here. I'm doing what two, four, uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine damage just by doing nothing and staying alive. So it's not that big of a deal. We can chill. Now on this turn, we gotta do some shit. Probably not click on regen though. I don't think I locked this too yet. Uh -huh. Acceptable. The two, I guess it would have been worth more damage, but it's nice to have flexibility with the damage, I suppose. First burst and then the cat dies to imp. That sounds viable. Uh, sure. I just, I'm a little worried about giving these pseudos more time to hit sixes, because eventually, I mean, I guess also very fair, eventually they will also just hit one, two, one. This imp is like a fucking sniper, though. And also, Seer hasn't rolled me three mana. That's why this fight feels like shit. Oh, I get it, I get it. I figured it out. Hey, what's wrong here? Seer is actually choking. That's what's wrong here. This dude's three turns deep and he hasn't rolled me three mana stick. That doesn't seem right. There you go. I figured it out. Something, I knew something had to be wrong there. I should let him die. You know, I feel like it'd be nice if I could spite my enemies. That's what I'm saying. No. Stack of mana? This is not a curse, this is an item blank. Dogma. Very good. Sometimes. You could do this. And then we could play Sack of Mana Cat. I'm down with that. We've got an actual Omega Wizard on our cat. Look at this dude. He knows how to cast spells. And bite. I'm gonna roll one time. Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm thinking it's probably correct. And now we just let it land on whatever here. Okay, well, maybe not that. Uh, maybe, maybe not that one. That seems like it's a bad call. I'm just gonna say it. I don't think I pressed the button that kills my whole team. Uh, one usable dice for banning, are you sure? I'm sure. Thank you. I'm okay. I'm good. Uh, don't lock. I let it roll. Okay, I've erred. Please, I'm sorry. I apologize for my greed. Have mercy. Could just, uh, four poison the zombie, though. Just saying. No, I'm, I'm sure. Thank you. Thanks for checking. I don't want to die. Appreciate it. I do not wish to end my run like that. Wizard. Is wizard good enough? Let's see. I have... A lot of mana gain. But I don't actually have anything good for wizard, I fear. Like, I, and I don't want to blind pick him. I'm going to take Venom, because Venom is very much uh, consistently correct here, I believe. Wizard, you're taking a bit of a flyer. You're saying, yes, wizard will be good here soon. I don't feel like it's right. Because you need to pull an item for him. What are you dying to? Bones, bones. I could go, like, kill one. Poison, rotten, foretell looks pretty good. I, you know, I hesitated on Doctor. In hindsight, I should always take Doctor here because uh, this spell, Liquor, is super good to have. Being able to just click on someone and send them to full HP is so good. And cleanse whatever is ailing them. That shit... Very powerful. I have 16 mana. I'm actually down with the sickness here. And the sickness is greeting for more mana. 
It's Giga Lisa Maxim. What can these idiots do? Nothing. That's what. I'm plus 12. Twisted Flax is very good on Venom. Like, no joke, it's solid on that character. I don't like this item usually, but it goes on Venom, and I like that. Uh, this fight is scary. Is there anything I can do to make it less scary? No. Why is this fight scary? It's a ton of damage, and I can't race down the troll. And I can't, like, burst through the slate super well. I think it can be trouble, but we appear to have rolled pretty well. Oh yeah, sorry, it's not that scary. Uh, I have Vine through Herbalist and I rolled well. It's like, if I don't peel the armor off, it can be troubling. But we rolled well. I guess we probably just always roll well. The team is built in such a manner. Where we're just always fine here. I did say Forsaken. Forsaken is nice defensive insurance, and then we're just saying the rest of this run is playing Venom to win. I can also click Artificer because we have great mana gain for Blades. Uh, and so let's ask ourselves a question. What boss am I most afraid of? Am I afraid of Inevitable? No. <laughs> what boss am I most afraid of? As if it's a fucking question. <laughs> uh, for those of you not in on the joke, his name starts with T and ends with a hand. And I think that's really all there is to think about at this point. And I will take Forsaken because she's good into T her hand. Sorry, the hand. What are they doing to brother? I could bind him, actually, and save his life. You like it? I think it's okay. Because most likely I'm just going to get hit by these ghosts again next turn. Well, if I'm going to do this, what I need to do is I need to put poison here. And then I'm down to bind the cat. And just letting paying three mana for the cat to live another turn is good, because he's actually very high value with the double mana sides. And the ability to soak damage for me. Or mana, what do you know? Looking pretty good there, eh, cat? And this goes here, this goes here and here, and the ogre is alive! Whoa! Bind depletes now. What are you shooting? You're shooting Forsaken, so I don't care about that. Forsaken's okay. And it's a wrap. GG. Whom. Twisted bar. That would have been good for... Oh, you know who. Wizard. But I'm probably not going to Twisted bar here. I'm probably going to Second Chance. I think this item is pretty solid when you have double four manas, because this is effectively just another four mana now. Wow, these gnolls low roll. That's pretty nice. You got one, two, three, four, five gnolls, and none of them rolled exert. Oh no, one of them rolled exert. But they also just split their damage super hard. What am I doing? It's like, in my mind, there's this little thing that's like, oh, well, don't waste damage. You don't want to waste the two extra poison damage. Go hit one into this knoll that takes zero. No. No, don't do that. That's silly. Kill that dude. That's much better. It's way better to just kill that guy. You could have done that? Yeah, you could have done that, but you didn't. Now teach our cat to do it again. Loser. There you go. Done. Kronos Warlock. So it's important to note here that I will probably not be clicking on a generate. It's very important to know that. So what I should do now is I should go look at the heroes and I should ask myself, what blue is best into the hand? And if the answer is not one of these guys, I should hold out. And the answer is not one of these guys. The answer is Sorcerer. So. 
the follow-up question. Very important second point. Do I... Do I just worry about the hand? Well, let's think about it. Inevitable loses to Venom. Hexia loses to Venom. But I don't have strong defenses into Hexia right now. I make a bunch of mana. Oh, I have Bind. Never mind, I'm fine. So Hexia loses to Bind on Forsaken and Revive. Uh, Inevitable loses to Venom. Hand loses to Sorcerer. Who's left? Oh, Dragon. Dragon loses if he poison breaths me. I think it's always hold out for Sorcerer in this spot, so we just skip to the end. Because we're, we'll guarantee it. We can force them to show a Sorcerer here. That's the strat. And I think this is the actual power of House Cat, by the way. If your run needs a specific character, you can force it with House Cat. Uh, and you, so you can just become ungovernable. And by ungovernable, I mean you can't. You can just skip shitty picks. You get two skips basically. And I'm going to cash out. Also, I'm pretty happy to hold Seer for a little while longer. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Cleansing Venom here looks solid. Although, maybe I shouldn't cleanse Venom with this? Oh, uh, by the way, if you typed a comment saying, why not Scalpel on Forsaken? Yeah. Good point. Very true. I'll be fixing that shortly. Uh, so the spiders aren't doing anything scary to me. So I can just hit Fortel. If nobody's dying, you can always just save the mana and then kill these guys next turn. Three, three... You should roll for four mana, probably. Although, three damage, four mana. One cleave is actually pretty nice here, too. Because then it goes here, plus Forsaken's three. Venom gets binded here. Are you dying too, top guy? Who's first? Bind. And then we just fork out. Looks good. I cannot bind around Tarantus. I've seen many people ask me things like this. So I, I've, and I've never said this outright. So I will give you a clarification here on how this works. Give me one sec. Uh, and this is the general rule in the game. The, Sl Slice and Dice is a good game in terms of just teaching you general rules. So this is a kill effect. Kill effects do not do damage. So things like immune to damage does not go around being killed as you can see it's not and also uh death defy will work and you will take no damage for this if you had a death defy for another example but you can't cheat around tarantus's kill effect with bind it has to be a way to break out of death learn spark does anyone want spark because so in the someone hopped in Discord to tell me they thought it was undervaluing Spark, or and I just said it was just okay, where it's always gone putt crazy for him. Uh, Spark is good if Spark is good it is definitely just the statement, uh, and Spark is good when you have something that cares about mana gain. So and I have one side that this works on, which is the plague side. If I can build up a little plague, it's good. This team absolutely does not care about Spark, but I will clarify. Oh, fuck. Yuck. Bowl wooden bracelet. Um, wow, that's goofy as hell, because you can't do sack of mana with it. What the heck? Well, that's a generated item for you. Sure. I suppose. Anyway, uh, yeah, my my final point that I'm, I'm going to leave it at that, basically. I didn't put a bunch of time into synergies like that because oh, I forgot to move the scalpel. I forgot to move the scalpel. What the hell? I'll move it after this. I will remember. I was just yapping about something else. But yeah, my, my final point is that generally speaking, that video about items is like... I trust you guys to be able to look at something like that and go, oh yeah, this is good here. By cat. Doesn't even matter if he dies, he comes back at full health anyway. 
could revive. There's not really a good reason to. This fight's done anyway. We have reused Plague. Ace Sorcerer, there he is. Uh, Sorcerer gets second chance. Scalpel goes on to Forsaken. And now, if you commented Scalpel on Forsaken, I want you to make a reply to that comment and say, oh, never mind, he got it. I appreciate it. And also, don't worry about it. It doesn't bother me. I know some sometimes maybe it seems like it could bother me. I feel like people assume it does. It does not. You typing comments, no matter what they say, is very good for me. And I prefer it when there are lots of comments because it's, uh, it's, it's strong, powerful. This goes here. I think I just killed the sniper. No, why would I do that? If I want to save Cat, I can bind, and I think I will bind. Keeping this cat alive is worthwhile. And we roll. I mean, two four mana sides means he hits it pretty frequently, especially with Sorcerer on the team. I think it's fairly common. Okay. Well, as you wish. It's fine. We're scaling poison. Everything's looking nice here. I'm just gonna hit done, because I think I am done. I am done. Good job. Second heart, time stone. You could time stone doctor? You could time stone... I don't know. It doesn't seem all that good here. Time stone forsaken, maybe, but the pain. But it offsets, in theory, by the self heal. It's not all that interesting to me. Time stone for heal two mana gain. It's not that useful. I think second heart's a lot better. And should be fine. It just gives us another uh, layer of defense against Hexia, who I think is the second worst fight we can have here. After uh you know who. Hey, this looks kind of spooky, doesn't it? Are you afraid here? First burst or bind. I guess bind is a little better. What's going on? I need to make sure I take this fight a little more seriously. Because I'm just sitting here thinking about the final boss like it's a foregone conclusion. It isn't. I could definitely lose from this spot. If we bind up, it's fine. It's just you gotta look at Sorcerer going down on HP. Lots of damage coming through. This this fight's actually kind of spooky for a fight 19. I think now I should be pretty safe, but uh, maybe not. I'm gonna aim to uh, drink up for Sorcerer here. Okay, let's see it. Cat gets up. I think we just go heal you to full. It would be nice to not lose one of these characters. The Basilisk really fucked me up here with back-to-back -back poison rolls, though. Um, Grr. I agree. I think there's nothing to be done. I think it's one character dies here, and the character is probably... Okay, it's close, actually. Is it Forsaken or Doctor? Forsaken has a lot of self-healing built in. Uh, Doctor is a little bit better because he's the top character. And he might just get sniped by hand turn one. But that's probably less useful to me than Forsaken. But... The other question here is, if I let Forsaken die, am I sure I win this fight? I'm pretty sure I win this fight. Letting Forsaken die is just a little bit scary, but I think it's okay. 
Because the chomp is dead. And we do have cantrips. Reuse. Come on, cat. Thank you. Very good. That was two, three, four, five. Full heal here, burst here. Should be clear now. Sorcerer is definitely looking pretty worthless right now, but that's okay. He's trying his best to be worthless. He is fucked up, but the best thing he can do for me is reuse house cat. It's Hexia. Okay. Do I want you? No. Do I want you? No. Thanks for the offer. So the plan here, I took second heart so that Venom has more HP to get through mana burns. The plan here is just going to be find a way to clean out these imps. Hopefully they just kill themselves, honestly. Is it viable? You think? Hmm, maybe. You roll a bind for Venom here? It's not too crazy, I don't think. I do need this heal three self heal move more. I mean, the mana gain is from Forsaken is not real. Okay, Sorcerer, I hope that you rot. Uh, it's bind here, burst here, 10 poison into Hexia. That's Hexia dead next turn, guaranteed. And the only trouble is that my cat died. So the only way I lose from this position is if Hexia summons a demon, basically. If Hexia summons, then I can lose out from here. But I think it's very unlikely, even with the demon summon that I die. Because now I just heal through the imp's damage and then kill. Are you hitting your thing, sorcerer? It's interesting. It, it will be interesting to look back at this run and ask myself the question, was it right to hold off for sorcerer? And the answer seems to be yes, because I was so sure I was going to kill Hexia, and I wasn't wrong, to be fair. <laughs> Poor cat. Uh, no, I wasn't wrong. I mean, I was very confident that I would kill Hexia, and I did kill Hexia. It's just questionable on if... Because Sorcerer looked pretty fucking worthless throughout the rest of the fights. Uh, and he looked worthless there, but I guess ultimately, Seer and Sorcerer were just down to second chance holders, and it's not like Warlock did anything there either. I think in that fight, no blue matters. It's just the Venom show anyway, so... Eh, whatever. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave me a like, subscribe if you want to see more, and I will see you in the next one. Have a good one.